Good morning. We're so... Good afternoon. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, come back tomorrow. You feeling good? Feeling as good as possible. Sore, but good. Yeah, sore, but good. But you're good and James is good. Yeah. So good. Good. And we just had a cozy day so far. It's a very cozy Yeah, it's like 79, weather. which is like winter here in Florida. Um, <laughs> and it's like drizzling and like... The perfect like relaxing day so it's kind of good we didn't have plan i mean we had plans <laughs> the wilderness lodge but outside of that like it's she needs a rest yeah she's got some major bruising going on but mm -hmm. overall not intolerable good. pain yeah and i'm like i feel like just tired from the commotion i feel like it's exhausting oh yeah it was just like an overwhelming thing um but good we got our car seat check out that look at this fancy packaging for our Nuna Pippa. First rides. Safe travels. This is like a Apple product. Oh, there it is. The Nuna car seat. Super cool, super fancy. Um, I have the base. You actually don't need the base, so what's cool about this is you, it's, you can do it baseless because there's belt straps here and in the back. Um, but it's super light. Super awesome, high quality. There's a cool like dream, like canopy that comes out of here that magnets down to cover him when he's snoozing. Um, but I actually have the base installed in the car already. Sarah pointed out that like one of the few things that you have to have before you leave a hospital with your baby is a car seat. Like they don't let you leave the hospital without a car seat. Guess what? Boom, got a car seat. So that's good. Now we can bring James home. Now it just needs to be October. Sarah's relaxing and watching Harley Quinn Birds of Prey. Um, I'm gonna go run some errands. I'm gonna relax. She's relaxing. What do I do? They gave me a prescription for, um, is it a muscle relaxer? It's a pregnancy approved muscle, muscle relaxer. We don't think she needs it right now, or she doesn't think she needs it right now. Yeah. But I'd rather get the prescription fulfilled so we have it if her back or her tailbone starts hurting. So I'm gonna go drop that off. And I'm hopefully, I hope like the neighborhood Winter Park hardware store is open because I've been meaning to get new anchors for James's armoire. I don't want to take the ones when we install it in the other bedroom out because then there'd be big gaping holes. So I'm hoping that the hardware store is open and that I can just get two new anchors. I don't think we need anything else from the hardware store. No. We're going to do our plant thing soon, right? Yeah. I either We're not today. Well, I'm going to look at the hardware store. I don't think the hardware store has the pipes we need. If not, I think we just need to order the hardware online. Yeah. Because that's like been the hesitation of us not setting it up is like just not getting around to ordering the pipe yeah, and then exactly. figuring out how to attach it safely to the ceiling because I think the ceiling is drywall. Ah! Eve wants candy that's interesting. So I'm gonna go run some errands. Literal perfect timing. While I was in Ace Hardware, it, it was like a tsunami outside. Got what I needed to anchor the armoire and even a hook maybe to hang up a small world mobile. And Sarah got the text that her prescription day. So now I can go pick that up and then go home. Well, now it's starting to rain again. I had, I must say, I had to show this before I drove home. This view right here is so awesome and has never looked more real. That's not actually where it's gonna stay. It's not fully connected. It's latched in, but it's not level enough. It's probably gonna go in the middle seat, but with that little mirror, that little window cover, we're almost in business, James. Oh, I did not expect to do this today, but when I was at Ace, I thought, hey, there's hooks here. What do we need a hook for? We need a hook for the mobile. Hello, small world city. Got a drywall um, anchor into the ceiling, inch hook into that, so that should be good, but it is a heftier weight um, mobile, but I feel safe about it. Plus we have two months to make sure it doesn't fall, but I feel good. Next is to conquer this which will be very exciting to anchor this to the wall right by my buddy Rupert. Who remembers Rupert? Rupert is probably my favorite decoration in all existence. 
because he's more than a decoration. He's family. All right, I am happy to announce armoire is secured. I am not happy to announce that either the floor or this wall is real crooked. See that? Boom. Look at that gap widening. Actually, it's unfortunate, but because of that, that unlevelness, we're gonna have to find a new home for the Alexa and the lamp there because the outlet they were plugged into behind, they can't plug into unless they plug into that, which I have to show Sarah when, when she sees this later to see if we wanna like string an, out, uh, an extension or something along that little wall, which might not look terrible because it'll just be in the corner, but then you might be able to see it below that. I don't know, we, got, we can figure something out, but that is now secure. We can start loading it fully. Small World Mobile is looking amazing. Crib is coming together. Now we just need to put um, a bunch of frame stuff over there and maybe a bookshelf right there or over here. We're getting there. Evie has claimed this blanket. We figure we'll probably have this on the floor a lot. We're not gonna get a rug. We were thinking of getting a rug, but we think that we're gonna have this quilt on the floor a lot for playing because, I don't know, we just gotta go with the flow once he's here. But Evie has claimed it for now and she's like laying perfectly on the diagonal. She approves. All right, so we decided to embrace the restful tailbone and the, the cozy night. We busted this quilt out and we started some new Netflix movie called The Lost Husband. Hope I don't fall asleep. I get it. 23 minutes. Okay. Set a timer. All right. So The Lost Husband, really good movie. It's a new Netflix original. Um, just a classic feel-good romantic movie. It's not even a rom-com. It's just a rom. Like, what does rom stand for again? Oh, I should know this. Romantic. No, like, I was going to try to make a com geeky computer joke because half uh. my degree is going to be in computer science, but... Goes to show you how well I paid attention in school. Sarah slept through all of that movie except for the first 15 minutes. Eve fell asleep during all of that movie except for the first 15 minutes. There was a really sad period where Eve was having nightmares. I had to, I had to go pet her. Um, but she's wide awake now and Sarah's a quarter awake. Um, but I'm going to put on about time because it's 9 o'clock, 9.12, winding down on the our lazy Sunday. read-only memory. She got it. <laughs> the graphic designer. But that makes sense that you would know that. Plus, you're just a smarty. Me, who has a mathematical computer science degree, should know that. But that's why I didn't get a job in Chicago years ago um, working like IT intro IT guy at um, like a telemarketing company. A really cool, like, hipster place. All exposed hardware and bricks and everything in our old West Chicago office, but uh, they didn't hire me. Was it West Chicago? No, it was um, Fulton Market District. Um, used to be an old packing building. They still had the old hardware up top and everything. Anyway, I'm digressing. I'm gonna watch about time. Sarah's probably gonna fall back asleep and Eve will probably get rambunctious. Um, so let's see how this goes. Alrighty, August 30th. If you have the power to make someone happy, do it. The world needs more of that. Anonymous. It's the daytime! Clearly it's a different day. Yeah. We both fell asleep. We were on the couch until like... Three. Three. Not, fell asleep on not the, couch. the time to be sleeping on the couch. Um, but then I had to get up and I had to work early and then I had to bring you to the vet. So this is today's vlog that we're talking about. So, <laughs> right. Um, what did we do last night? We watched About Time. We just like, no, I watched About Time. You fell asleep. I watched The Lost Husband. I watched About Time. Then we just like. Fell asleep. Snuggled. Fell asleep. Go say that. <laughs> hey. Um. But I actually, I I think, I don't know about you, probably not you, but me for some reason, I fell asleep, when I fell asleep on the couch, it was like, I was I could have slept all night and it would have been good. Mm -hmm. But at three, I woke up and I was like, we need to go to bed. Yeah. I... But Eve, we left the door open and Eve was like, forget y'all. <laughs> she was already and she in She was there. already in our room sleeping for the yeah. night. She was like, I'll put myself this to bed. Yeah. Alrighty. 
We'll see you in a couple minutes. <laughs> it's good to be home. Good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>